Okay, here's a, um, I'm just going to show you how to modify a pattern slightly. Um, and in this, it, on this block, it's uh, 15 by 8, and I want to put this pattern in the border. But I don't like the big gap here, and I don't like the big gap here. I want, it, I want this pattern to fill. This is really a pantograph pattern that interlocks really nicely, but I want to use it as a border pattern. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, scale it. Uh, no, change change the height. Uh, change the no. Let's go back. Let's scale it up. And do let's just scale the whole thing. That's better because it keeps it in proportion. Okay, I'm going to move it down slightly. Scale it down slightly. What I'm looking is for the top of the hammer and the saw and this loop to fit inside my border, the height of the border. So let's move it down a little bit. And I kind of like that. Now this wrench is no good. It needs moving, as do the, the pliers here. So this is how I'm going to make this all fit to make a nice border pattern. So I'm going to touch finished. Now I'm going to split. And I'm going to split, um, I want to split the wrench. So I think I'll split the line about there. Split. And I think I will split this one, let me see, why shall I split it here? Split. And I'm going to split this one here. Split. So now I can move the, the elements around. So here I've got three choices. I'm going to touch modify pattern. I'm going to modify this. Remember I split it so it's only that little part that's going to move. Continue. And now I'm going to move it until I I'm just looking at the wrench, not the lines that join onto it until it looks better. It's, it's up above the bottom of my uh, border line and it fits in there quite nicely and I like that. So now I'm going to move the pliers and I'm going to touch select. It says select another pattern to modify. So it'll be the pliers. And now I can move those. So I'm going to move those up. Maybe rotate them a little bit. Move them over a little bit. Yep, I think that looks quite good. So now I have to deal with this gap here and these funny ends here which don't fit. So I'm finished modifying. Actually I'll maybe move those over a little bit. That's a bit better. Um, finish modifying. I want to do some more splitting now. So I'm going to split here. Split. I'm going to split here. Split. Okay, now I'm going to let's. Oh, and I'm going to split here. I'm going to split here. Split. Okay, now I'm going to zoom in on this area so that I can move those lines around. So, zoom in, touch, touch, touch. And I'm going to modify this straight line there. So I'm going to touch modify pattern again. This one. Continue. And I'm going to, I want to leave this end attached, so I'm going to use stretch. I'm going to anchor that end and I'm going to grab the other end and just grab it around uh, until it until it has a nice look to it. Maybe there. Okay, and now I'm going to move this part, so I'm going to touch select, touch that line. Again, I'm going to use stretch. I'm going to anchor it the, there, bring this end up to join it onto there. So that doesn't look too bad, that's joined up there nicely, so let's zoom out a little. Now I have to deal with this, I've got a gap here. So the easiest way to do that is, I'm going to go touch finished here, which will take me back to the split page, so that I can split again, and I'm going to split, let's split here, split, modify pattern, that's the one I'm going to modify, continue. Again, I'm going to stretch it, stretch, so I'll anchor that end where it's joined and grab this end 
and join it onto there. Well, that doesn't look too bad. Bit of a sharp turn there. I may modify that a bit, so I'll put it about there, I think. Okay, select. Now I'm going to modify. Now I need to split. I need to make another split there, so I have to touch finish to take me back to the split page. I'm going to split there. Split. Modify pattern. Touch that little bit. Continue. Stretch. Anchor that. Grab this end. Join it on there. Okay. So now I'm finished with that. I'm going to pan over to get to the to the pliers, and I need to deal with this. I need to get that. Take that away from overlapping there and join this up. So this is already split. So I'm going to modify pattern. Touch this part, continue, and again I'm going to stretch, leave this one, uh, I'm going to anchor that point where it's joined, grab the other end and move it around. Now this isn't going to work because when I stretch it, it just gets bigger, so I need to stretch it, I need to, um, I'm going to leave it like that and then I need to do some more splitting or add another shape in. Let's do it this way. Okay, so I need to add something in from here to here. So I'll look around, I'm going to zoom out, and I'm going to look around on my pattern here to see if there's another piece I can grab. And actually this, this curve here looks quite nice, so I'm going to split there. I'm going to split here. Split. I'm going to split here. Split. And then this time I'm not going to move that section, I'm going to copy it. So I'm going to touch Copy Pattern. That is the one I want to copy. Continue. There's the copy, so I'm going to move the copy down here. Um, and I think I'll rotate it. And I'm going to move it so that that is to there. And then now I'm going to stretch again. Anchor that. Join that up. Not all the way because I need to put another little curve in there. So maybe like that. And again, zooming in is really good. You can kind of see how, you know, okay, there's an, you need a little curve there. So I finished. I'm going to split here. Split. I'm going to copy that section. Continue. Now I'm going to move that section. Stretch. Anchor that point. Stretch it to here. And then there's a little bit of a blip there. Mm. So I'm just going to move that over. Actually, let's zoom in some more. That looks a bit better. So I'm finished here. Now I need to get rid of that little overlap. So I'm going to split again. I'm going to split right here. Split. This time I'm going to delete that this little end part. So I'm going to touch delete. And I want to touch that short part. Continue. Yes, I do want to delete it. It's gone. So that's finished, let's see. Well, that doesn't look too bad. 